93% of the excess heat from greenhouse gas emissions has been absorbed by the ocean. Ocean warming is contributing to the diminishment of plankton populations and changing the migration patterns of fish, forcing them to travel further to reach colder water. But the most visible sign of a warming ocean is the effect it has on coral reefs. Corals are animals who have a symbiotic relationship with plants. Tiny plants called zooxanthellae live inside their tissue. This is what gives corals their color. The plants photosynthesize and produce nutrients that the coral needs to survive. In return, the coral provides a home and protection from predators because most species don't like eating coral. They work together. As corals grow, they strive for sunlight so that the zooxanthellae can photosynthesize better. Corals build skeletons out of calcium carbonate, and these skeletons create structures that become home for many other species. Corals are key to the health of the ocean, but healthy corals are becoming harder to find. One of the biggest threats to corals is ocean warming. Corals have a temperature range that they can tolerate, but if the water becomes too hot for too long, the coral gets stressed and releases its symbiotic algae. Without the algae, corals turn white, revealing their skeletons. If the temperature returns to normal within a short period of time, the coral may be able to take back some algae and recover. But if the water is too hot for too long, the coral simply can't survive. Since 1993, the rate of ocean warming has more than doubled. Mass bleaching events are becoming more frequent and more severe. 